to observe the growth in plants, how it is taking place, we can perform an activity also. We can perform an activity also. I take a small quantity of uh, bean seeds and soak them in water and after 2 to 3 days you can observe the seeds which are sown in soil they will grow like this and they will germinate and they will develop as a plant. And as you have uh, seen in picture where how you are like a, like a baby and uh, like a as you are growing like as a child and as you are grown boy or girl. So, during this, this process also your muscles become stronger and bones become they, they grown and the blood in your body also increased. So, the cells which are present in your body they are multiplying in number it is nothing but because of this growth will takes place in living forms in living forms. So, with these two <coughs> activities we can say that living forms they have growth one of the important characteristic future and they follow this. Whereas, we cannot see this property in non living things like table or chair duster like these things they cannot grow and they cannot there will not be any <coughs> change in their size due to growth. So, let us discuss another characteristic feature of living things that is nothing but breath. So, you might have observed while you are playing or while we are going to home. So, if you can see a cow which is in rest position, you can see its abdomen, you can find, you can observe the up and downs in abdomen. So, this we can say as the cow is breathing. So, all organisms living organisms they possess this characteristic future and yourself also you can check the so place your finger at nose and see how you are getting changes and taking into air into your body taking air into your body we can call it as inhalation and releasing air away from your body we can call it as exhalation. So, during these exchanges of gases <coughs> the oxygen which is needed which is needed to body which is needed to our body is supplied and carbon dioxide which is released is sent out from the body. So, all the organisms all the living forms they can take oxygen and will they release carbon dioxide? No. So, animals they will take oxygen into their body and they release CO2 away from their body. But whereas, plants also will they take oxygen and will they release carbon dioxide? No. So, carbon dioxide they will take carbon dioxide, plants they will take carbon dioxide into them and they will release oxygen into atmosphere. So, this activity will be performed through the structures we can call these structures as a stomata. As we have all animals they have nose to perform this activity breathing as in plants also stomatal openings or stomata will they, they perform the same activity. So, as all organisms take oxygen and release carbon dioxide like this plants also they will take carbon dioxide into them and they will release oxygen in return. 
So, this activity will perform by stomata. These structures we can call them as stomata. These are nothing but very similar to like our nose. As human beings they will take and release gases through nose very similar to that the stomata also performs same function which are present on the epidermis of the leaves which are present on the upper surface of the surfaces of the leaf. So, here these guard cells they will regulate the function of the stomata. So, right. So, like this all organisms living forms they will breathe, but whereas non living forms like a table chair they cannot breathe. Hence, we can say this property also breathing also which is performed by living things only, but whereas we cannot see any kind of uh, this activity in non living things. So, let us move to next characteristic feature which is we can see which we can see in living things. <coughs> so, next important characteristic feature which we can see in living forms is movement. As I said, <coughs> the food which we have taken it releases energy during the process of respiration, and this energy is utilized to perform various activities like movement. So, we need to move from one place to another place to um, take, for example, from house to school, you people are coming. So, and while you are playing a cricket or while you are playing in ground you need to move your hands and legs. So, this is also one of the important characteristic feature which we can see exclusively only in living forms. So, here one doubt arises, a question arises, can plants move? Can plants move? Yes, certainly plants likewise animals they cannot move from one place to another place, but whereas certain parts of the plants they can move like seeds they will disperse from one place to another place with the help of air through animals through water currents they will move from one place to another place. So, why animals or living beings they has to move take for example, animals they has to move to collect their food and to protect themselves from the enemies. Okay. So, to perform various things to protect themselves and to get food animals they will move from one place to another place. So, movement is also one of the important characteristic future which we can observe only in animals certainly, whereas plants they cannot move from one place to another place, but certainly they are also considered as living things, whereas things like non living things like a table chair they cannot move from one place to another place until unless you are not going to be applying any energy or any force, any effort with human effort only non living things they will move from one place to another place. A question arises vehicles take for example, vehicles buses, motor bikes they will move from one place to another place, but we cannot consider them as living forms. Why? Because they are non living with human effort only they are moving from one place to another place. Okay, children. So, you can perform an activity and you can find the solutions, uh, you can uh, take a list of things which you, you are going to be observing in your day to day life. 
so whether they have uh, they can move or not and prepare a table and you can find answers right so like this movement is also one of the important characteristic feature which we can see in animals okay in all living forms we can see movement except whereas plants they cannot move certainly but whereas certain parts of the plants they can move from one place to another place right okay so let us discuss next important characteristic feature which we can see in living forms that is nothing but excretion excretion also one of the important characteristic feature which we can see in living forms as we are taking food <coughs> and while breathing also we are releasing gaseous waste materials like carbon dioxide so when we are taking food various kinds of nitrogenous products are going to be produces as a waste material so all the food which we are going to be taking it is not going to be utilized by body uh, certainly the waste materials are going to be sent out so if it is not going to be taking place what will happen the bo the body will um, deposit <coughs> will get these depositions and these waste materials nitrogenous ma materials they will they are very harmful to the body so because of this they has to time by time they has to eliminated from our body so likewise as as in animals waste materials are sent in the form of urine in the form of carbon dioxide and nitrogenous materials also are sent outside in the form of excreta and whereas in plants also you can see waste materials are sent in the form of gums resins rubbers etc yes you are all using gum rubber erasers your eraser erasers these are all nothing but they are the excretory products of the plants so plant excretory products are they have lot of economic importance right like this all the living forms they possess this important characteristic feature and in in animals excretory elements are released in one form and whereas in plants excretory elements are released in another form like in plants excretory elements like gums resins rubbers etc whereas in animals excretory elements gases excretory elements are sent out from our body in the form of uh, co2 it is sent out and whereas in the form of sweat the excretory materials are waste materials are sent and in the form of excreta also waste materials are sent out from our body so will non living forms will they perform this activity no obviously they know they cannot perform this activity so non living things they cannot excrete waste materials they cannot take food then how you can expect elimination of waste materials so they cannot take food and they cannot eliminate any waste materials so so hence here also we can say that living forms have this property but whereas non living forms they don't have they don't possess this characteristic feature in them right so let us move to next important characteristic feature it is nothing but
reproduction. So, reproduction it is one of the important characteristic feature and during this process all living forms they will produce their young ones as dog it produces puppies and cows and chicks these are how all living forms are living beings they will produce their young ones so reproduction producing their young ones which are similar in them it's nothing but reproduction whereas all living forms like humans plants hen dogs cats tiger these are all they produces their young ones so this is one of the important characteristic feature to perform this activity all living forms they have specific organs specific organs whereas plants also they will produce their young ones plants also produce their young ones when seeds are sown a new plants are arises so like these living forms they will produce their young ones and they will continue their races so with this example we can say reproduction it is one of the important characteristic feature which we can see in living forms whereas in non living things will you see any um, production of young ones a table will produce its young one no a chair will produce its young one no obviously they cannot non living forms yes as, as i said they cannot grow and they cannot breathe they cannot excrete and they cannot reproduce their young ones okay right